In this example, we're going to do one last um, system of equations, and we have this problem. It's recommending elimination. You can use whatever method you want, really doesn't matter. Um, but if I were to try to use substitution, I would have to try to get one of these variables, one of these variables by itself. And trying to get any of them by themselves, avoiding fractions is not going to happen. So it's already kind of set up for elimination. So perfect, let's use it. So um, we need to cancel out a variable. So it doesn't matter, you can try to cancel your x's or your y's. Um, I can make these both 6, so that's not too big. Um, and actually I would be making the y 6 as well. But uh, So let's multiply the top by negative 3 and the bottom by 2. So that's going to get a negative 6x minus 9y equals 18. And then this is going to get a 6x plus 4y equaling 12. So x's go away, we're going to combine our y's, so negative 5y equals 30, divide by negative 5, y is going to equal negative 6, and then let's go back to one of the originals, maybe we take the top one, so we'll plug in y, so 2x plus 3 times negative 6 for your y, that's what we just found, equals negative 6. So that's going to be a 2x minus 18 equals negative 6. We'll add the 18 over. So 2x equals 12. Divide by 2, x equals 6. So our solution is 6, negative 6. So that's where these lines intersect. Just so we have a rough idea of what we got going on. Um, and then we want to classify it. So since we have a solution, it's, a, it's consistent. And why? Because we have a solution. Uh, inconsistent is no solution. But we have two different kinds of solutions. Either we have one solution or infinite solutions. We only have one, so it's independent. And it's because they are not multiples of each other. Okay, and that was solving a system of equations using elimination was the method that we chose on this one. Um, then the next couple problems are going to be word problems.